Now let's quickly see what intrinsic value means and what extrinsic value means. The time decay that we consider. So if you haven't watched my earlier introduction videos, please have a look at the options introduction videos. So time decay, we have talked about it in those videos. So what time decay means? As the expiry approaches, we realize that the premium or the time value starts on falling down or depreciating. Similarly, there is another factor called as implied volatility or we can simply say volatility. This extrinsic value is actually a combination of both time value as well as volatility. So many a times people kind of ask me, okay, the expiry date is actually approaching, but the premium is actually increasing. Why so? So is it just because of the intrinsic value? No, it's not just because of the intrinsic value. If the volatility increases, if the volatility increases, even though the time value decreases, still there is a chance that the premium will go up. So it is very much important that we understand as the date to expiry. So as we can see on the chart over here, as the number of days to expiry comes down, that is, or I can say as the time keeps passing on, definitely the time value will keep on depreciating and become zero. However, if the implied volatility or the volatility in the markets is increasing, this volatility will kind of add up to the extrinsic value. And even though the time value is depreciating, the volatility will kind of increase the extrinsic value. So it is very much important that we understand both volatility and time value plays a role in extrinsic value. And it is not just time value that is taken into consideration to calculate the extrinsic value. Now let's quickly have a look at what intrinsic value means. Right now on the graph over here, we can see that the current price of the underlying asset is at 10,000. And I told you the 9,000, 8,000, 7,000, all these strikes will be in the money when I consider a call option for the particular underlying asset. Now, if I ask you, what would be the intrinsic value for the 9,000 strike? You would be able to say that it would be 10,000 minus 9,000, that is 1,000 rupees. I'll give you the reason also. As all of us know, a call option is nothing else but the right to purchase an underlying asset at a particular price at a later point of time. For something that is priced at 10,000 rupees right now, if you ask me to give you the right to purchase it at 9,000 rupees, let's say after one month, okay, the current price of the underlying is 10,000 and you are asking me a right to purchase the particular product whose price is 10,000 right now at 9,000 after one month. Obviously, I will definitely charge you the intrinsic value. That is the difference between the current price and the price at which you want to purchase it. That is 10,000 minus 9,000, which is 1,000 rupees. On top of that, since it is in the money and it has a time to deliver the contract, definitely it is going to have time value. Along with that, it will also have uh, implied volatility value too. That is the extrinsic value. We'll talk about it in the coming section. So till now, let's just understand that the extrinsic value is also be going to be there. So understand that for anything, for any strike that is in the money, it is going to be a combination of both intrinsic value and the extrinsic value. So intrinsic value is nothing else but a normal or the real value for that particular contract. And extrinsic value is all that is external dependent on the time as well as the volatility. For those who don't understand the concept better, I'll give you one more example with put options. Now over here, I can say that the 12,000 put, the 12,000 strike put is in the money, right? 12,000 strike put is in the money. Current price of the underlying is 10,000 rupees. So put option, as all of us know, is a right to sell a particular underlying asset at a particular price at a later point of time. So that is the nature of the contract. I understand the current price of the underlying is 10,000 and you want to sell it at 12,000. So you are coming to me uh, as a buyer and the seller, you want to purchase the right from me to sell this particular underlying asset at 12,000 rupees at a later point of time. Now, obviously, right now the price of the underlying is just 10,000. You're coming and asking me to give you the right to sell this particular uh, put option at 12,000. Obviously, the intrinsic value over here is going to be 12,000 minus 10,000, that is 2,000 rupees. Now, apart from this, considering the expiry date and the uh, the uh, volatility conditions, the extrinsic value will also vary. Now, 
you people might be asking like how can i calculate uh, the correct premium price based upon the time to expiry the volatility all these things the answer is it is going to fluctuate each and every second the values will keep on changing so whatever is the price that is being traded at the current market is definitely the exact price okay so it's kind of very much difficult to calculate it we have different mathematical models to calculate the premium however as far as an individual is concerned it is pretty much difficult to tap in exactly the values we have several softwares or uh, the broking platforms is itself tells us the payoff how the premium uh, the intrinsic value extrinsic value and all are going to vary over time